is good, Grey Gang? I'm actually down here at the creek right now. We're about to be checking a minnow trap. But before we check it, I want to send y'all back in time. I asked my buddy Chad if he'd come out here and set it for us. He agreed. So anyways, I'm going to send y'all back in time. Here's Chad. Yo, 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 skirt, skirt, ski. It's your boy Chad out here. We're about to catch some minnows. So first thing you want to do to catch minnows is you're going to look, see where the squad's hanging. And if the squad can't hang, you leave them. Your boy's going to make a wild guess and say that they're hanging right over there next to the local Dairy Queen. So we're just going to hook up the minnow trap, toss it in, come back in a bit. Whereas some would say, a brick. Yeah. Man, I usually don't get to come out here minnow trapping often. I'm usually on the slope shredding some ice. There we go. But whenever Kendall hit me up today and was like, Hey Chad, you wanna go minnow trapping for me? I was like, bruh, is that even a question? Let me get these skis off my feet and I'll be right down there. But there we go. And so that right there's how you- Oh gosh, just ran into the trap shack on wheels, dude. This thing's totally rad. This thing's lit, man. But that right there, that's how you set a minnow trap for. At least that's how Kendall showed me in his minnow trapping one-on-one -on -one video. But as for now, guys, Chad out. Peace. And we're back at the present time. Shout out to you, Chad. Thanks for doing that for me. But we're gonna come on down here, get it somewhere. He said he put it right over there by the Dairy Queen. I mean, I had no idea what that meant, but I figured it's right here. Oh my goodness. I don't love it. Bro, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. It ain't there, dude. It's supposed to be right there. Chad sent me a picture of it, and it ain't, it ain't there no more. It ain't there at all. I think I've been robbed. I think someone stole my minor trap. I think someone just come down here and yeeted me. I think they stole the minor trap. They sure did. We've been robbed. Look, even from over here, it's supposed to be right up under there, and you can definitely see that water's not that deep. It's gone. Someone has straight up come out here and stole the minnow trap. I'll be honest, guys. As much as I minnow trap, I figured it happened to me pretty soon or sometime. But that 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 was the first time I've ever been robbed. That's from a minnow trap, at least. I don't even know what to say, guys. Well, <laughs> I guess there's not much for this minnow trapping video. Thanks a lot, Chad. You set in a bad spot. That is, that is, why? I mean, you can literally go to Walmart and buy it for like $15. Why would anybody come out here and steal a, a minnow? It's over there. Nobody, nobody stole it. I'm sorry. What in the world, Chad? Did you even tie it down? I mean, yeah, I know that it rained a little bit last night, but come on, Chad. You're supposed to tie it down. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, my goodness. Huh. We got three minnows. I was going to put them in the pool pond, but uh, we really don't have a pool pond anymore. I mean, not right now, but that's all right. I'm just going to turn them loose. There goes those. My goodness, dude, I gotta go have a word with Chad, what? <laughs> Chad, uh, uh. My gosh, dude, he said he knew how to set a minnow trap. I think he just proved he didn't. <laughs> I guess it's better than someone stealing it. Not by much, though. Thanks a lot, Chad. So I guess what happened, and just so you know, this wouldn't have happened if I would have said it, but I guess how Chad said it yesterday, like I asked him to, last night it came a huge rain. That's why the creek was up so much and flowing so fast. But I guess the creek water just, you know, Took the, took the minnow trap, took it way out there where we found it. It didn't take it too far, but it still moved it away from the Dairy Queen. Chad said he put it beside. I, don't, I still don't know what that means, and I'm his cousin. But anyways, I think I'm actually going to call him up and ask him what in the world happened. Because if you'd have tied the trap down like you're supposed to, that wouldn't happen. Hey, Chad. What's up, dude? It's Chad. Did you tie down that minnow trap yesterday? Like, whenever, just tied it down? Yeah. Like, into the... Like into the bank? I don't know, a stick or something, a rock? I don't know. Did, Did you tie it down pretty good? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. It, just, just checking, dude. It, uh, it looked like a good knot. But anyways, dude, I'll let you go. All right, bro. Got shred. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's just that a couple years ago, Chad had a... He fell off the ski lift and hit his head. He's never been the same. I don't know. He claims he's fine. I don't. Neither does Carly. Okay, guys. It's actually uh, the next day. We're out here at a... Uh, well, here at the corn pile we set not too long ago. We're going to take this troll camera, then I have some tea to spill. But looking at the corn pile, it looks like all the corn is actually gone. All that's left is a salt block. <clears throat> Which means we should have some pretty good footage on the trail camera. Pull it open. We'll start checking them right here. Try to get y'all as close as possible. Okay, here we go. We'll go on over to check it. Here we go. We have 103 videos, so that's a lot of footage, man. Here we go. Let's see what we got right here. Oh, there's something in the background. Just some deer, though. We'll wait until they get a little closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a buck. There's a buck, man. Y'all see that? He is a buck. He doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Not 100% sure of the size. We'll check again right here. He seems to be a pretty good buck. Pretty decent. He's a decent buck, for sure. I mean, he's got pretty good mass. 
He's spreading out. He's still young. Still young for uh, antler growth. We'll keep on flipping and see if we have any more bucks. Still that same buck just hanging around. He may give us a little bit better view of him. He's just sitting here, man. We have a ton of videos of him just standing there. Okay, now it's getting daytime. Maybe we'll get videos of different animals. Maybe turkeys. If we can get a turkey, that'll be pretty cool. Here's a deer. I wonder if that's the same buck. See if he'll raise his head up. We can see if he has any antlers. I think he does have antlers. I think that may be the same one. That's him. He still has the antlers. I don't know if... He... It's really hard to see on there, but... From what I can see, he does definitely have the antlers. So that's him. He's coming right in the middle of the day. Can't really see what time it is. We'll keep flipping, see if we have anything else besides just this deer. Because he's been here pretty consistently. That's a good sign for deer hunting. Especially since he came right here in the middle of the day. That's also a really good sign. Now it looks like we got some rain. Or snow. Definitely not snow because it's like the middle of summer. But still. Got some rain here and he's still just sitting here chomping on it. There's a deer. Up close. See how that video turned out. Just a little deer. Just That one's actually just a doe, I believe. So nothing too insane about that. We're coming towards the end of all of our videos. I don't think we're going to have much more at all. There's a deer again. A deer, a deer. The buck's back. But that, hey, hey, whoa, here's the buck up close. He's a little closer now. Uh, looks like right now he's only a six pointer, but he can also gr he can always grow out some more time. I tell you what, guys, that's all for this trail camera. We, we checked everything on it. Now let me spill the tea. So uh, I was driving by the creek where you know someone stole the stole the minter trap, but we ended up finding it. Um, I was driving by that creek, and uh, I just want to go show you guys. It's pretty crazy, and I really don't know what to think anymore. So I was just you know driving down the road. Look over. And what do I see down there? Do y'all see that? That's a stinking minter trap. Now, I set my trap not too far up the road here. We're going to go down there and we're going to get that sucker. I don't know whose it is, but let me tell you, it's stinking washed down the creek too. At least I ain't the only guy in this situation. It should be like right here. should be very, very close to it. She was somewhere right here, I believe. Because I was up there whenever I saw it. Let me stand up and see if I can see it anywhere. This thing's like a needle in a haystack trying to find it in the creek. So, I brought this fishing pole because, you know, I'd already seen it. I actually saw it yesterday. I got a giant treble hook because I don't think I can get down there in the creek. We're going to take off the old KG rod sock right there. Come on around. Then I'm just going to unhook the treble hook and just, you know, snag the trap. Shouldn't really be too hard. I got 30 pound braid, so it should handle it pretty good. Let's see. The hook's over in there. Come on now. Let's get it. Bring it up here. Bring it up here, son. Oh, snap, man. Bruh. There's two things that I just noticed. One, there's stinking snakes in there. <laughs> and two, I think that's actually the trap Chad set. Because it has the rope, the older rope. And so, if this is, in fact, the one that Chad set, that means that who in the world, who, whose trap did I... Whose trap did I get yesterday? Like, now that I remember, the trap that I gave Chad to set, it was this older rope, you know? It kind of looked faded out and nasty, and it should have a loop right up here at the top. Yep, there it is. It has the loop right there on the very top of the trap, on the very top of the string. Also, there's water snakes in there, so yeehaw. Your boy don't have a clue what he's about to do with those suckers. There's three of them? Are you kidding me? There's three? To be honest, guys, I think those are just water snakes. But I think I'm just gonna throw them back somewhere. I don't I don't know what you do with a water snake. I mean, they're not poisonous. They're not copperheads or anything. They're just like snakes that eat little minnows and stuff. So to be completely honest, guys, I'll probably just throw them back here in a minute. But we're gonna set those down there. Turn our attention back to here. Whose minnow trap was that? Off the top of my head, there's really one possibility. And I really hope it's not my other minor trap on up the creek. But we're about to go check that out right now. If we head on up there to the creek, I'm talking like it's probably half a mile. If we go up there half a mile and it is not there, that means that both my minor traps have been yeeted over this storm. Because you can look at it. The water's still kind of up. It's still pretty swift. It can still carry a minnow trap. But if we head on up there to my other minnow trapping spot and my minnow trap is gone, then I guess that's my fault. Because Chad didn't even set that one. Oh, God. I don't even know. I'm, let's head on up there. Let's see. If oh snap! I really hope I haven't been yeeted twice in the same day. But we're about to find out. Now my other minnow trap was set right over here in this one spot that I set all the time, where we actually caught like two snapping turtles out of here. It was set right down in there. So I don't know, guys. <laughs> this ain't looking good. I ain't, I don't see it. 
There's no way though. Two minnow traps in the same night? Do I really not tie my minnow traps down good enough? I mean, I know I'm kind of lazy like that, but... Usually it's okay. But I think Mother Nature just showed me why, we, why there's a rope attached. Well, I guess no one stole the minnow traps. Except for Mother Nature. Let me tell you, she is frisky sometimes. She is frisky. But anyways, Grey Gang, I guess from now on we'll just be sure to tie down our minnow trap. Don't forget, if you want to buy any merch like this shirt, I haven't wore this one much. It is the black and red camo sleeve long sleeve fishing shirt. It's pretty comfortable. It's super soft and super thin. If you want to pick up that, you can head on over to kennelgrey1.com slash shop or pick up the rod sock like we used on the fishing pole. Anything on the website, man. There's a ton of stuff. But one thing about it, if you go over there and you pick up some stuff, it really helps us support the channel. I'll see you sometime in the near future. Check out Kennel Gray's merch at kennelgray1.com and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, Jesus loves you.